crisis in terms of business and um, most of the organizations are suffering due to the the pandemic which has happened because of the covid-19 so being uh, fuse is being you know one of the forefront of uh, uh, helping the businesses uh, in people management today we decided uh, to uh, go live to you know help you in terms of uh, how if your company cannot have a work from home because we have seen there are a lot of companies who have uh, been uh, talking about work from home but i think there is a large number of companies in the country and across the world who don't have uh, enough bandwidth or maybe their businesses doesn't allow them to be uh, uh, working from home so in such case what is the option for business owners so what we have done is we have actually tried to collate some information based on our experience with uh, our teams and our clients and also taken some inputs from uh, some of the best friends you know who actually how they are dealing with such situation i am only trying to <clears throat> create some kind of a, a docket which will help you to be able to uh, sail through this um, tough time not necessarily that it will solve the entire issues but i think we are going to really talk about uh, there are certain ideas which probably be of help uh, you may use your discretion in um, making sure that you are using this uh, ideas for implementation you must consider your financial uh, conditions and also your ability to execute these uh, ideas uh, you can also modify the way that you would like to implement uh, in the future so here here we go i would like you to run you through some of the quick ideas which will help you to take uh, uh, better uh, decisions uh, moving forward so we have recently run a survey with uh, 475 companies have responded so far and uh, immediately when i looked at i think these are the some of the uh, outcomes that we have noticed we asked how many companies can actually afford to have uh, a work from home situation and out of 475 we have 54% who said there is a possibility that they can actually create a work from home uh possibility uh, in their business but however there are 47% of uh, those companies who said they can't really do a work from home at all because the businesses doesn't allow because you have manufacturing and uh, infrastructure uh, logistics and there are a lot of other companies that are existing in the in the business so when you when we asked okay let's look at it you know if you are able to work from home uh, how much percentage that you are able to achieve so out of 257 uh, companies who responded to uh, that they can actually do it from work from home but if you notice there are only 62% of the companies are able to achieve more than 70% of the workforce putting them on the job uh, from home but however there are other companies which are uh, like 20% of them between 50 and 70% that they are able to achieve so that means still it is better because you are not fully handicapped but if you look at the lower than 50% uh, which is uh, between 30 and 50% is 9.3 percent and also less than 30 percent it may be zero also to that some extent is also 8.29 percent so this is something that we thought that there is a large portion of um, uh, employers who may need uh, this support in uh, helping them how they can manage the work non work from home workforce who are currently there typically when you look at uh, the manufacturing and other services companies will have two types of uh, um, employees one the blue collar employees who are actually on the job on the machines you know on on the field you know who are actually executing the business for you the other uh, is other set of people who are basically from um, uh, te uh, te either technical background or a back office background or maybe a supervisory category or uh, white collar worker otherwise you call so if you look at the key challenge you know when we looked at the companies that doesn't have the work from home plus the companies which are reported you know less than 50% that they were able to achieve on work from home which is 268 out of 475 companies right so that means there's a massive stress on 223 companies which reported that they absolutely they cannot do any work from home and there is also a need for 45 other companies which actually has only 
50% of uh, employee engagement that they could do. So that means that all these companies would need more ideas um, and uh, we are trying to bring in these ideas uh, together today. So these are a list of possible solutions. Please make sure that uh, you use the your discretion to be able to implement these uh, ideas. You can improve those. And uh, when you improve, please do report to us. Please do share it with us. What are the ideas so that you know we can share those information back to many others who may need. We never know. Uh, this uh, video probably can help some more people. Um, and since we can't really reach those many enterprises across the country and the world, we are trying to really use this medium to actually communicate to you. I'm going to really talk about the four segments that you probably can look at. One is the corporate communication, the other being wealth, health and well-being, and uh, learning and collaboration, and market development. I think these are the four areas probably uh, um, you can keep your workforce engaged, even though while they are not working from home, but uh, they are not contributing to the business, but you could really engage them during this downturn because um, what very important thing is that people, if people are not engaged during this time, because your lock in, lock, lockdown uh, is also going to extend, you know, in case there is a possibility or your business is not going to improve for some time, then I think you need to really make sure that you have to keep all your people engaged in these troubled times. So there are a few things that you could do as a corporate communication. There must be a frequent organizing level communication which should go online because nowadays everybody has a smartphones and we are sure that you should be able to do an online all hands meeting uh, with all your employees on their mobile phones. You can use any of the video streaming uh, uh, facilities that are available. And one more thing, you may want to even, you know, consider bringing the families together because, you know, they're all away, you know, and then they would really like to meet up with you. So maybe you can actually look at based on the size of your organization, you can divide it to the groups if you really want. Um, maybe you can also invite some family members sometimes. Uh, also, you can share some information during your on, all, all hands meeting, you know, online. Um, you can use many ways really to improve uh, communication with them. Of course, we have WhatsApp kind of uh, tools and other communication tools are available. Or if you are already online on uh, HR cloud uh, communication tools, probably you can do use those tools uh, like the Accusers. You know, that's what we uh, provide uh, to many of our clients. Uh, then emails wherever possible, because most of the manufacturing companies, we notice that they don't have an email. But I think uh, the uh, app communication is uh, definitely uh, far more reaching uh, than uh, otherwise. And uh, what do you do in these communication? You know, probably you really wanted to you know, update about the organizational progress that's happening, how it is impacting your business now, and how is it going to impact uh, your business in the future. And you may want to update of your future plans and uh, what are the decisions that you're taking from time to time, because this is very, very, very important uh, to be able to, the only mantra in these times is only communicate, communicate, and communicate. And uh, you may also really use this opportunity to seek support and ideas uh, uh, to improve the situation. What can be done today? What can be done tomorrow? I think one of the most important uh, necessity uh, at this point of time in these uh, times is uh, that all, not just only the management is responsible for the business, every employee, every employee, irrespective of their uh, levels in the organization would be able to uh, help in this situation. Hence, do not hesitate. Just go and ask, seek for support, ideas, what can be done, share as much information as possible, uh, be transparent at this time. I think that's going to be very important and you need to use the communication as a corporate uh, very much uh, for this purpose. Also, there's one more very important thing because I think your, your functional heads and your leaders uh, never had so much of an opportunity to be able to front end your business. But I think this is the right time when you actually uh, really be able to uh, ask them uh, to be able to constantly meet with a group online. It could be a functional group, it could be a, a department group, or it could be a vertical group or whatever. Make sure that your leaders constantly make sure that they are in touch with them on a very regular basis. Maybe you can set up a 
standard protocol of uh, uh, communication um, with the dates and uh, <clears throat> charts uh, that you know okay this day so and so this day so and so is going to talk about and managers could also do uh, some of the suggestions i'm actually going to share here as part of uses initiative if you are going to implement uh, don't forget to make sure that your managers are responsible for execution because i think it is those are the managers who are your key for your corporate communication to go down to the last mile and they are the ambassadors to bring this organizational change and organizational ideas into action at this uh, point of time and also your managers also can actually call for uh, uh, individual meetings where you know they could actually talk about uh, uh, the stock position today, what need to be done if there is orders are going to come in the future. So they could do more of a functional kind of a, you know meetings to keep them engaged, giving them the information about what is happening and when what will happen. You know, in case after the uh, after the uh, pandemic, you know, when you go back and when you start your production, when there is a huge demand or when there is no demand. You know, both ways. I think you can actually really your managers can really uh, keep uh, your employees uh, occupied and uh, also. Um, one of the very important thing some of our team suggested that uh, maybe you could go through some of the data related to major accidents or issues or you know uh, which happened over a period of time or in terms of quality issues or anything they could actually take one of those and actually do a group discussions to come up with some solutions potentially when you when they get back uh, to work or maybe some process issues or some logistical issues you know all these can be really uh, you know, you can actually uh, have your managers uh, discuss because I, I actually foresee that there's a whole lot of um, bonding more than ever required. Your managers uh, would be able to do this through the process. They can also really look at some kind of an awareness. Uh, and general ideas in terms of uh, how do you contain the cost and how do you improve profitability when you come back and what are the what are the things that can uh, be done when they actually come back to the work and what would they like to promise. So this way. Uh, there may be many issues, many, many ideas, uh, but I'm just only sharing few. But this way you are able to really create a kind of a cohesive team uh, who is responsible for the business, not just the business owner, not just the CEO, not just the you know top management. But I think it is the time that every employee becomes part of your journey. So that's one part of the communication, corporate communication, when I have to really you know put together some of my ideas. And then the wellness and uh, health, you know, is well-being is going to be very, very critical. You must really encourage some kind of a fitness to them. You know, we are not sure whether uh, many, many, very less people who are really have a regular habits. But today there is a lockdown. Uh, I think probably this is one way to really use the time to make your employees healthy. The more better uh, healthy employees, the better output. Healthy employees, better profitability. Healthy employees better response to your uh, stakeholders in the company. So you could really look at some kind of uh, uh, online yoga sessions for them on a regular basis, on a day to day basis. Actually, you know, the fitness has to be on a day to day basis and you could do some fitness sessions, you know, depending on who um, and the age and uh, the demographics of the people you would be able to provide these uh, services online, which is actually not not costly because uh, uh, you could actually hire a yoga trainer or a fitness trainer. They would be able to show it to them how to really do these fitness exercises at a regular uh, point of time. Plus, uh, at this time, it's very important that uh, people are under tremendous stress. And we notice that a lot of mental illness uh, is happening, not just only physical, but it's mental well-being is very, very important. So maybe you wanted to really you know, help them to understand more in terms of what's happening in terms of the COVID-19 and you know how they should be really taken care of. You could really spend some time on that. And if they need some doctor consultation today, there are a lot of online um, doctors who are available. You could tie up with some companies who could really provide some kind of a consultation in terms of uh, any ailments that they are feeling at this point of the time they or their family you know extend that so that you know the more healthier that they are during this period uh, the happier they become and the happier they would like to come back and really work um, and fight the challenge that you're facing in terms of building your business back again when when you're on your know, back after this whole pandemic happening also uh, you could really, you know, depending on again, you know, this is more to do with your ability to fund, you know, such activities. Uh, you could 
bring some mental wellness experts online you know who could really be able to provide some uh, ideas and help to these required individuals uh, in your in your company okay so this could be for you know employees or even otherwise and one one thing probably you can also do is that you know look at your demographic of your employees and just you know ask them that is there anybody else you know who could actually help in this because there are a lot of people who may be disciplined with yoga disciplined with fitness um, you can use them you don't have to really look at um, you know appointing somebody to get these things done uh, you may get uh, some ideas through that Ask, ask the employees you know how they would like to do or how, who would like to participate i think it's going to be a, a most participative culture ever that i can actually see in these uh, testing times the next is market development not necessarily all, all uh, blue car workers or all can be done but definitely some of them can definitely be contributing to you. Uh, this is a branding uh, time for you, you this, during these tough times. Uh, one of the things that they can do if they are very technically savvy, any one of them, whether blue collar or white collar, any one of them, if they are um, digitally savvy, they could actually keep sharing your content within their you know, network or maybe building their network, enhancing their network. Also, they could be really giving some feedback and you know, posting something on the lot of employer branding uh, places uh, uh, on online. You know, maybe your your page uh, on any of the social media, etc. Uh, that can be done. Or you can also utilize some of them. Uh, one of a friend actually told us that they are actually using to take a collecting a feedback from uh, our existing uh, customers as well. So that means that you are using your current team who are available, who are willing to really help you. So probably they can call the uh, customers and you know take a feedback, or maybe you could run some kind of a survey polls. You know, probably they can actually do some. You give them give them a questionnaire. They can actually you know take the details. You know, fill it in on the computer or maybe on the mobile. Make it easy so that you know they can also contribute to that. And most importantly, I think this is the time you probably would like to bring in a small group innovations in terms of uh, what can be done in these situations to bring new ideas in the future. Or maybe they can do external survey, or maybe they can do brainstormings within the uh, teams. Probably this will be a great idea to build new products into the future. Because what happens is, after every trouble that businesses go through, uh, there are new ideas which will come up. And then those who bring up new ideas and new ability to kind of communicate and uh, share um, within themselves and come up with new products, I think they have a lot of chance to survive into the future. The next is business development. Maybe you could actually use, if some of them are very technically savvy, who can use professional uh, um, professional sites uh, like LinkedIn, et cetera, maybe you could actually uh, create and uh, help for them to be able to understand how they can use their professional media so much that they can actually get connected to many people they could be exporters they could be potential customers who may actually wants to buy your product uh, once the uh, pandemic is uh, over uh, post covid uh, you know. so you can actually do anything um, with the talent that is existing uh, at this point of the time in your uh, hand uh, I would feel that you know if you're not using any of these skills that the employees have, I think you are doing injustice to your organization. So again, you know, they could be even collaborative uh, reach in terms of. Uh, I'm going a step ahead and also to say that okay, uh, not just the employees. I think the entire family of employees are going to be part of your uh, um, challenge now and part of your success also could be in the future. So invite any of the members who would like to really know, understand about your organization and contribute in terms of ideas and solutions, you know, or maybe a small groups that you're creating, do not restrict to your only employees. You know, you can actually invite your employee, family, you know, whoever, um, because you will find a blue card employer. He, he might be just a metric graduation, metric or a graduation, but they may be, you know, their children who are at home right now, who could be, you know, Postgraduate working in a very different organizations. Just tap into those talent pool. All you need is few hours in a week of their time. You can actually create a collaborative reach and really make sure that you know um, you can actually improve your marketability into the future. So these are some of the thoughts 
there could be many uh please do post if you get some more ideas or if we get some more ideas we're going to really post on our website and uh, also share these uh, slides on slide share and uh, uh through the blogs and uh, also on linkedin and uh, uh, all the social media that we're going to promote the next the most important thing whether they are if they are not able to come to the office and work, if they're not able to come to the manufacturing setup and work, I think the best way that you can um, connect is uh, online now. And um, what can you do? You, what can you do? So you can actually do learning from friends and family. One thing that you can encourage them uh, is that the employees can he take help of their um, family or the friends around where they are living in the community. They can actually learn from each other. Uh, like very simple example, a blue collared employee can learn how to operate computer if, if he has not done how to really operate internet or how do you how does he open an online training program and open it and how does he interact? I think uh, today everybody is going to be savvy. Like age doesn't matter and qualification doesn't matter because we have most user friendly internet and the programs that are ever available uh, so far in our. Um, in in the world so let's let's use that as uh, one of the very important thing they can learn from their own family um, but please remember what are the suggestions i'm making i'm making with the purpose of that you are consciously going to create this environment because you need to create an environment and encourage people to do it and that's where your managers and the leaders and your supervisors are going to be the front ending in helping in all these ideas that you come up with for your own organization there's a lot that the managers can learn. Managers can become, you know, one of your uh, uh, trainers today. You know, they all can go online and, you know, help your uh, teams in terms of your uh, manufacturing practices, best manufacturing practices or a client orientation or a quality process. You mean, take any example of uh, uh, how you can improve their knowledge from today to tomorrow when you actually come back uh, after the um, pandemic and then uh, you start really working. I think they should be able to build their overall outlook much more than before when they come in. Plus, you also have a lot of learning courses online. There are a lot of universities and a lot of online courses that are available for free. Every online mm, portal which allows uh, learning opportunity, they're also providing a lot of free uh, education as well. Or if not, you subscribe to some of those continual learning programs. And what you can actually do is one of the suggestions which actually we do is also that we run uh, uh, training programs every day, 6.30 to 7 o'clock for a half an hour, small module. We all come, come on to the Zoom and, you know, we learn something new as the entire organization. It could be very as simple as communication or interpersonal skills. But if your leaders are there, they probably you can actually have another set where you actually subscribe to some uh, channels which you can actually stream together and then discuss after that. So I think this is one of the best way that the online uh, learning uh, comes comes handy. Uh, this could also be related to functions. This could also be related to your business. This could be related to your industry. It can be anything. Please do not hesitate to create a schedule and you know ask your managers uh, to help your um, <clears throat> your teams to uh, learn things. Then one more thing we, we were thinking that uh, most of the times an employee comes to you and he works on the particular aspect and then go back. But I think there is always there are certain other skills that they have. This is the time you must take the demographics and look at what are the skills, additional skills that they have. Can you hone them during this time uh, by through the online, through the managers helping them and all this? Because this is going to help you in your career transition and also your uh, <clears throat> progression ladder you know within the organization when they come back they could actually take a lot more uh, opportunities uh, when, uh, when when they come back after the uh, uh, covid-19 uh, impact so that means that you are actually trying to find new talent and engaging them nurturing them before they actually come to you so that you don't have to run around for the skills that are required at a later point of time. Then there is another tool that you can use because one tool that we use, you know, one of our very good friend who created this is called lore.online, L-O-R-E dot online. You know, here you can actually, uh, even if you have your videos, you can actually position it. There are a lot of curated videos which are available. They're offering this uh, up to uh, September. They're offering this as a free. And uh, in fact, uh, 
at uses, you know, we are using it. So we created different groups. We identified different uh, videos and, you know, learning content we are actually positioning and we flash it to them. We set timelines, you know, they actually learn, they say they completed. So you will actually have a dashboard as a company that, you know, how much of the learning uh, that people have done, including your own content, you can actually put it there. So there is a huge amount of opportunity that is available in terms of learning for the future. So these are some of the thoughts that uh, I wanted to bring in and uh, hopefully this will be of uh, help to you and uh, please do share this to the rest of them and uh, please do come back and you know, reach us um, and uh, tell us your feedback and also give us um, uh, any ideas, you know, more ideas that you have. We probably would like to come back and uh, update this uh, to the future. I would like to thank you for, you know, being very patient here and um, Hopefully, this will be a beginning um, and we will start learning more and more into the future. Thank you so much and uh, take care and have a happy time uh, and wish you, your business, a great success in the future. Thank you so much.